Hey guys, what's up? Naren here. Today I'm going to talk about uh, eligibility criteria of applying for a Deb Work Integrated Learning Program or WILP from Bits Pilani. So I'm making a series of videos of how to apply and what is eligibility criteria, what is the fee structure, what are the program curriculums and how it works. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the eligibility criteria to apply for our work integrated learning program. So I'll drop the link for this website in the description. So when you go into the website and uh, check for programs that this uh, work integrated learning program offers the multiple programs like uh, MTech, BTech, MBA, MSc and PG diploma. So I'm going to apply for uh, automotive electronics so there, uh, the eligibility criteria differs from stream to stream but there are few high level eligibilities that you must have to apply for any of these WILP programs so I'm gonna run through the eligibility criteria basically when you go through this website they're self-explanatory but you know, I just want to make sure you understand them clearly so to apply for WILP program you must be a uh, employee or working professional from a uh, engineering organization that is a very critical criteria and you must have had completed BE or BTEC or equivalent domain in either of this automotive ECE triple or instrumentation and mechatronic domains so basically, so whatever course you are applying for, uh, you must have had that equivalent BTEC relevant to that stream. And you must have, uh, you must be in the domain that you are applying or you must be working in that particular domain. So for example, if I'm applying for automotive electronics, I must be working in a domain or organization that uh, is relevant to automotive or you know, the project at least I work in must be automotive. So it doesn't make sense if you're working in IT or you're working in uh, SAP, DevOps and some other kind of stream and you're applying for automotive electronics, it would not make sense. So you must be in a relevant uh, domain of work. So that is a major uh, you know, eligibility. So these, these are high level eligibilities uh, along with that, you must have 60% aggregate in your BTEC, BE or uh, equivalent courses. Other than that, there are few other low level eligibility criteria like you need to get a mentor consent, HR consent and you must have all the documents to prove your employability, your marks, your educational qualification. So I'm gonna uh, make a series of videos explaining each of it. So just keep an eye on description for all other videos. Thank you.